Welcome back. Now, over the past few years, a simultaneous surge in uh, technology and the startup ecosystem has led to a number of traditional services like finance moving into the online space. And one such startup that has taken insurance aggregation online is Policy Bazaar. And its online financial marketplace arm is called PesaBazaar.com. Naveen Kukreja is Group CMO at uh, PolicyBazaar.com and Managing Director at PesaBazaar.com. He's joining us on the show to talk about how this model has evolved and what the opportunity is looking like going ahead from here. Naveen, great to have you with us on the show. Now, just to put this into context first, uh, how does your model really work? How are you positioning your brand in the market? So, two of our simple objectives was to kind of make sure the consumers are buying right kind of covers and they are able to compare all the policies with all the right information uh, at one place on our platform, which is the objectives uh, with which we started. Uh, over the last seven years or so, uh, we've kind of evolved quite a bit. Uh, just, just a simple fact that you know there are about 25 insurers in the market and usually yes. you know if you look at health insurance there will be about 100 plus plans. So how do you expect a normal consumer to wait through all of these and buy or select the right plan for himself or herself. That's where Policy Bazaar helps. Alright but let's take a moment and talk about the challenges in marketing a financial service product given that it's not really a very glamorous, uh, very exciting category. What uh, have you faced uh, so far? It's a very good question. Uh, like you said, uh, you know, marketing of financial services is not very exciting. Uh, people find the product either very boring or are a lot of times scared of it because they do not know all the intricacies of the product. So it's very, very important uh, when we look at marketing of these products to be very uh, single minded about our communication uh, to try and simplify uh, the communication as much as possible. Uh, so in our communication, if you've noticed that we try and keep the messaging very simple. What we try and do uh, through, a, through some of the other mediums like uh, a television show that we have plus uh, the articles in print is try and also uh, educate the consumers about the right kind of insurance or policies that uh, they should be having. And tell me, do you see more value in uh, pushing digital marketing? Because you are an online player. How do you actually spread it out across the many platforms uh, that exist right now? There is so much talk about integration, but uh, when it comes to approach, uh, within the kind of possibilities that exist, uh, how have you gone about it? Like you said, we are an e-commerce player, so digital uh, comes naturally to us. Uh, digital continues to be a core focus uh, for from a marketing perspective. What digital does very, very well is, you know, uh, target the consumers who are looking for or searching for uh, the financial products and target them with a very specific communication uh, being able to kind of uh, get them to buy the right product and uh, measure it on an ROI basis. Uh, what we use the offline medium or the television as a, as a primary medium uh, is to increase and build on our reach because digital continues to have slightly limited reach uh, as far as the entire country uh, goes. And as you are aware that insurance is, you know, continues to be highly underpenetrated category. So there's a lot of scope of increasing and expanding the reach. So we use both digital and uh, television uh, almost equally uh, with, with, you know, specific objectives of driving the consumers who are looking, who are more aware and looking for the right products, uh, targeting them through the digital medium and increasing the awareness and consideration through mediums like television. So, um, if you look at it for this year, uh, which is 2016, 15-16, uh, uh, our overall mix would be roughly equal. About 45% of it is digital, about 55% is uh, uh, the uh, non-digital medium, which is you know primarily television, but includes other mediums like radio and uh, print. Uh, but what I see is that uh, as we go into the future, and as uh, you know, internet. Uh, internet usage expands as 4G becomes more popular hopefully. What I see is that you know you know few years out whether it's two years or three years digital can potentially become the primary mode of consumption of media and if that happens uh, we as a company uh, are kind of geared and focusing to kind of capitalize on that and uh, you know using digital to kind of expand our reach. Of course, in uh, mainstream media, Naveen, you had uh, your Ullu Madbano campaign. It has been received quite well. If you can tell us uh, what drove that idea. And uh, you did get in Kapil Sharma on board uh, as brand ambassador. What was the rationale in choosing him? Last year, sometimes we, 
when we were discussing about the brand strategy for the next couple of years, we realized that we uh, had a clear objective of expanding the reach, uh, connecting more with the mass consumers because mass consumers uh, need insurance and were still not kind of looking to buy or looking to compare uh, insurance. And how do we do that? So we did, uh, we said, you know, uh, two things will help us. One is that if you can get somebody who is who has a high connect with mass and that's how Kapil Sharma uh, came in. Uh, he has beautiful connect uh, with the masses, very popular, uh, seen as the person next door and hence you know uh, people connect very very strongly. From a media side we also kind of expanded on uh, uh, getting onto more mass channels like uh, entertain, general entertainment category as well as cricket where we experimented uh, uh, in the last World Cup for the first time. And I think both of these strategies played out really well for us and we're seeing uh, expansion in the user base in terms of new segment of users sure. coming in. And before I let you go, Naveen, if you can give us a, a glimpse of what we can expect to see from uh, the brands that you are uh, responsible for in uh, the year 2016, considering that we are more or less still at the start of the year. As we, as we go into 2016, uh, our focus will be to continue to build a reach uh, through through the through the mediums that uh, that we've been using, reaching further out uh, and building some sort of regional and localization strategy. On the other side, uh, be very very focused and uh, aware of the digital uh, industry uh, and what's happening in the digital uh, media consumption. Uh, my personal sense is that you know more yes. and more media will get consumed every as every month and quarter and year passes. And as brands, we'll have to be very, very uh, kind of uh, closely monitoring the media consumption habits and then uh, accordingly optimize our, our uh, brand spend.